Have you heard about rage quitting or a lack of hard work or something like Web 3.0? Because you must question those developments if you want to have a successful career in the future. And no, this isn't one of those videos where the old generation, the baby boomers, will tell Gen Z what they're doing wrong and what they should be doing instead. No, this is about us learning from Gen Z what they can teach us about the future, starting with number one. A job in itself is meaningless. We get upset when we hear about rage quitting. And in case you don't know what that is, it's about people being completely fed up with their work. They walk in, often record themselves on the phone to later put it out on social media. They quit on the spot and walk out, hence the name rage quitting. And we get upset because jobs are good, right? They are meaningful and important. And without a job, you don't create value for society. And if then somebody goes and quits a job in a less than acceptable manner, we shout foul. But we could also ask, what does it teach us? A lot of our work becomes increasingly decentralized. And so the young generation are perfectly happy to work independently. They don't need a boss or a leader in the old sense. What they need is a mentor, somebody who helps them along the way to achieve those goals. So as a leader, Stop telling people exactly what to do. Stop teaching them how you would solve a problem. Rather, give them a problem as a whole and let them solve that problem in their own autonomy and give them the helping hand and the advice that they need and ask them what they need to get the job done. And as an employee, stop relying on other people to tell you exactly what to do. If you just want to follow orders, get a job. But if you want to have a career, you need to start thinking for yourself. You need to start thinking about your personal skills and how you can apply them to a task. And what that leads to is that the application of that personal skill that you have becomes far more important and meaningful than a job itself. And so don't get upset if people just walk out and want a different job because maybe they just need to apply their skills in a different environment. But it is your responsibility to create that environment because our future depends on it. Now, does that mean that we throw out our toys out of the pram when we don't like something and just walk out? No, because the new generation teaches us something else. The world that we live in is far more interconnected than ever before. And that may not be the most important thing when it comes to obtaining a new job, but it is more important when it comes to protecting your personal brand, when you have to think about the values and what you stand for, because that's out there in the open and online for all the world to see. And if you keep those two things in mind, then a lot of these I quit conversations may go very differently. Second learning point, your idea of hard work is outdated. Of course, everything that leads to success needs dedication and hard work. And that has been true for all generations, but in no generation whatsoever has it ever related to the time that you spend into a task. It was always about the impact that you make. Make no mistake, there are always and there will always be jobs that need a certain amount of time that you dedicate to a job. Doctors, shop assistants, educational instructors, if you don't have some sort of boundary and set time, those jobs won't get done. So stop saying that 9 to 5 is dead. It isn't. But that's not hard work. Your career depends on how well you fit your personal skills into the overarching goal of a company. And Gen Z is fantastic at doing this in ways that require little to no time. Stop punishing somebody for not putting the time into something and start celebrating the new generation for their creativity. Learning point number three from the new generation, there is no set career path. This one is a little bit more complicated and I wanna go into the notion of Web 3.0. In very simple terms, Web 1.0 was the origination of the internet. Here you had a few companies or individuals who put out information for you to consume, pretty much like reading a book. Later on, that extended to Web 2.0, where people formed communities. You could interact with each other about those topics. But the data, the information, they were still very much centralized in a few hubs like Google or Meta. 
And the idea of Web 3.0? Well, the idea is that you have several hubs where the data can be owned by yourself. You still interact with other users, but it's not a central hub, but it's very much a decentralized web of information. What does all of that have to do with careers, you may ask? Well, your career 3.0 is also decentralized. It will completely depend on you. There are no steps or career ladders to climb to get to the next level because success of that career is and will only be defined by you, by your unique skills and how you wish to apply them. Does that scare you? Well, good, because you also lose an external reference point, a validation point for success in your career. And it very much depends on how well you get to know yourself, your ideas and skills and what you want to do. But it is also something that can make you incredibly excited because suddenly you have this unique chance and opportunity to truly align your work with what you find meaningful in life. It's something that I wish for you and of course hope that you continue this journey of exploration together with me here on this channel. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.